Welcome back to another episode of the Hours for Midnight podcast today with myself and Manrov ripping these solos like it's nothing. What's good, man, boy? Yes, sir, bro. It's a beautiful day, man. I'm not going to lie, yo. Been a pretty chilling weekend, shit, bro. How yeah. you doing? Been good, man. Me and Manrov honestly ripped like a semi all nighter at the fucking Surrey office the other day. Yeah, so it was wild, right? Really wild. Like three in the morning and just hitting back and then freaking uh, parents got choked. <laughs> yeah, my parents got choked. Yeah, like, yo, good <laughs> office. Good office. Uh, uh, this guy gave me true. baby food at the office. You want to explain baby me? Baby food? He gave me baby food. I get go-go squeeze, yo. Go-go squeezes are kills, yo, for people that don't know. I love Google squeezes, yo. Can you describe to the it's audience? It's like applesauce in it. It's like applesauce. It's like I used to take it to um, freaking lunch at like elementary school, and like Shadow Jasmine for like reminding me, putting me on too. And it's like a little like Kool Aid type thing, mm-hmm. and it just has like literal fruit in it, yo. Like you look at the ingredients, it's like apple, peach, and that's it. Like it's just the fruit, like all mushed up. I thought it was like gonna be like Kool Aid the first time I drank. I like barked, but yo, I'm honestly on it. It's like you know when you're eating like chips as a snack, you'll feel like a dry like. Like a dry tangerine, like a dry potato after, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you'll feel like you eat the potato, mm. you'll feel like a dry potato after. It sucks you dry. Mm. The ghost is super mm. snack, yo. It makes mm-hmm. you, like, hydrated and shit. Mm. Yeah, it's kills. <laughs> you know, like a productive day, yo. Yeah, that was a good uh, productive day. No, me and Manor were uh, legit. Uh, we have an office right beside each other. We were just fucking around. Yeah, we're yeah. Not really, like, we were doing a lot of work, and then we were just, uh, then afterwards, we just got into, like, just scripting a bunch of stuff, which you'll see soon. But, yeah. Anyways. That's pretty fun. Okay. Bro, we got to start off with this, right? Embarrassing situations as a kid. I saw this Twitter thread yeah. and um, it reminded me of a situation as a kid that I totally forgot. Like unlocked like a deep memory for me. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a story on the pod, right? This is a live reaction from Manrov as well. Okay. So when I was a kid, I remember we were doing prank calls with my cousins and like my buddies like at my house, right? And um, I was like... I was still a kid at this point, but I got my words mixed up and I ended up having the most embarrassing phone conversation with this uncle because I, pe- I, I prank called a pizza store, right? Yeah. And I no was way, like, were you like, like a good man, kid? <laughs> no, no, no. It's tr- just listen, listen. Wow. So, you also know what shati is, right? In Punjabi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like many shati da- 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 so it would be like, oh, my chest is hurting, right? Uh. right? And then, sh- uh, like, but then shot, right? Would be roof. Uh. Like shot is roof, shati, uh, shati is your uh, chest, right? Yeah, yeah. So what ended up happening was I was like, <laughs> pick up this phone call or I called his uncle right and I was like uncle you thought he uh shot the dog here I was trying to mess around with him and he made it and I was like thirty shot in a good and I was like thirty shot in a good gal there right and he's like nay I'm gonna shot the body I'm not only roofing the money it's kind of so tripped out I was like no way in my head I was thinking you're asking if his chest is okay yeah chest hurts right he's in the shot in a me the shot in a me right and I was like Oh, yeah, yeah, uncles in a fucking pura like gabru right? Like yeah, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. And, then, and then I just like then he's like, "Pata tu menu shati wali bachna hai, right?" And I felt so embarrassed. My cousin was into the laughing at me, yeah. and I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like this is this is when I knew like I had to get my Punjabi like, like way proper, better, yeah, yeah, proper. Because yeah, like, at that point, I, at, at one point when I was a kid, like I was a young kid, uh, it wasn't. It was good, not right? good. I, like, know, I remember you telling me that too, yo. At one point, it was not good. I was. I felt like. Like the little definition of what a coconut is, that's what I was. Actually? Yes. That's crazy, yo. Uh, like people, now still wi- people still whip that word around TikTok a lot, right? They do, yeah. I don't really like it, yo. What words did you struggle with as a kid? Did you have any that you struggled with? I feel like for me, it was I'd always, you know what? One thing I still get mixed up when the uncle starts speaking, like, and they're like giving me their number in Punjabi, like, Shay So Char, like, yeah. <laughs> like, do whatever. I remember those TV ads, bro, like the fucking yeah. furniture ads that yeah. used to come on TV. Mm-hmm. And they were like, sale, 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 or don't know, furniture sale. And it'd be like, Shay So Char, I'm so tussy, not on with Iran. Not on with Iran, yeah. Like I that remember should have a ring to it. Yeah. Like Vision TV, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that shit, like, I don't even know the numbers. I never, I, I never really learned after 25. But then as I got older, I realized you can just start forcing it. Like, it's a pretty, like, solid pattern and shit. I know, like, yo, here's the thing. I know up to 30. And then after that, like, I, it takes me a while, but I can it's get so, the numbers. It's so, it was actually so embarrassing. Cause sometimes, like, people would tell me, like, the phone number, like, Bobby or something, right? They'd yeah. be like, yo... Panjaso, like not on a mirror, like yeah. like a tasi or something, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, no, my BB used to do that, and I used to be like, BB, what, what's that in like numbers? And she'd be like, five, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I used to be like, okay, sounds good, yeah. But like, I'm so jealous, yeah. <laughs> so before <laughs> I like yo jog to my geeky thing, to keep funny, I keep yourself. Oh my god, I used to like when I used to cave man it out, yeah. Yeah, I was like, BB, yeah. like, please go one a cut at a time, yeah. one number yo. at a time. Honestly, bro, like the one other thing I didn't get to experience like to this day, yo, was freaking having my birthday shouted out on Vision TV. Yo. Oh, on Acom, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember on Acom or Vision TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, birthday to you. That's and then the, the, the funniest part was 
because like it would say like the kid's name. Yeah. But like that'd be like at the bottom, right? The top would be his Pradanda's name, his Dada's <laughs> name, his uh, like BB's name, whole his like, Tati's name, shout out. his Tata's name, his mom and dad's name, and like his name would be like so small. Yeah, it's, a, it's a like shout out. It's like shout out. It's a whole ancestry.com shout out right there, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 then, yeah. bro. Y'all yeah. don't realize if you don't know what Akam TV is, you guys are you guys are too. Bro, young. imagine like they modernize that and like TikTok, like every five scrolls, you just see like somebody's birthday party and shit. Somebody's like birthday page. I feel like I feel like it might fall. Yeah. I feel like if someone did an Akam TV style like show, but on yeah. fucking TikTok, mm. it might work. But also the TikTok demographic doesn't understand that. No, no, no. You don't understand. No, no, man up, man up. You don't understand. No, 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 no. No, no, you don't understand, yo. Your parents, your prime examples is how much time do they rip on TikTok scrolling, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they saw a Punjabi dedicated channel, I just saw a Punjabi podcast the other day, like on TikTok, man. Were they talking with the right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Daljit clip was sick, and they were just. Ripping it, bro. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, bro, this is sick. Yeah, 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 and I'm not, I'm not just say for what it is, yo. Because I got... Th- the other day, we posted the TikTok about the people that get the cuts in their eyebrows, right? Yeah. And then, bro, the TikTok... The, the, not TikTok, but the Instagram comments are straight fucking hell, dude. Really, like that's straight, solid, we yeah. Re- we just released, like, all the fucking... Anyone that was triggered was released in that comment section. There's mm. one guy, right? He wrote, I kid you not, probably 70 comments. And then you got an argument with this one guy for another 60 <laughs> comments. No, that's all. And I was bro. just like, I yo, like that, yeah. engagement. The video's, go, video's going sick. Then. Yeah, I was like, Chako engagement's like... Oh, I like that, yo. Yeah, they got like so that. passionate. Mm. And then I was just, like, sitting there. And I, I left a comment. I was like... I personally love to comment. I don't check the Instagram because like usually Jasmine is the one of his managers. It. Mm. And I just checked the co- the comment. I left one. I was like, "Yo, you know, if you feel like this much hurt by a small piece of like uh, a small joke, sorry, or a, or a piece of sarcasm, right? Then yeah. I guess then maybe our you know podcast yeah podcast whatever. Is you, it's all right? good. And I was like, you know, about uh, why you do make a day? Like you yeah. know, like uh, you can block us and move on. It's okay. Like yeah, it's yeah. all good. I think you should Kinda. take care of your mental health. And I meant it genuinely. I didn't mean to sarcastic. Kind of man. But then I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yo, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen on your parents' TikTok page? What's the most unexpected thing you've ever seen on your parents' TikTok? Like uncle's TikTok, yeah. Most unexpected thing I've seen, yo. Yeah, this is a wild shit. It's a whole it's different a I saw a tr- I saw a truck crash compilation. A truck crash compilation? Oh, that's yeah. shit. I used to watch this as a kid, like those Russian car accident compilations, yeah. Yeah. Remember You're Live weird. Leak? Remember Live Leak? Yeah. I used to rip Live Leak as a oh kid, God, yo. Like fully like mangled on my brain. No, no, but like the truck, com- like, no, you don't understand. The truck crash compilation had like a bunch of based out and up music in the back <laughs> and it's just uncle just kidding bro, it's actually too funny when you're in like a public place you can hear like uh, uncle aren't you on tiktok yeah and then, and then, and then it's like the class like oh, parents, oh, parents, oh parents. <laughs> yes. and then they just like swipe and they just like keep looking at their phone all i've seen him at the like gym. the beef clips you know no the b- funniest one shout out uh rishi right? if you guys know who rishi is right he's on uh he does a bunch of these like videos but like there's one thing that rishi posted a video about and i related to so much it was like literally at the gym yeah Aunties, like his uncle started dripping a tiktok right beside me and it's just like ninja uncle like mm. hmm. <laughs> Oh, no and I'm just like fucking trying to leg like yeah, press yeah, it. I'm yeah, like, yeah. bro, I'm trying to contain my laughter because I'm like, fuck, great. Right? Like, yeah. yo, yo, honey, yo, no. yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I'm yeah. just like, yo, like, please let me fucking do this leg press. <laughs> I was dying, bro. I was gonna be like, jokes, yo. I feel like good life is vibes like that. It looks so, so much fun, shit. man. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to get man enough to switch over to my gym. Yeah, mm-hmm. like maybe we'll see. Shit. Go ahead and get a doctor's no message. I've seen nowadays, yo. Yeah. Like locked in contract, like worse than a marriage, bro. <laughs> to the freaking gym, bro. Can't even break up with them and shit. That's it, yeah. scene, yo. This guy fucking rocked it. Yeah. Bro. What's the GOAT tier list for North American artists? Oh, this one's tough. So I saw that. Um, I got this like question from a f- uh, from a subscriber actually on mm-hmm. the YouTubes, um, a while ago, and I never did it. So we'll do it today. Yeah. I think GOAT tier list is tough. For American artists or North American artists, it's tough. But I think I have. I think I have. I rock it. Let's hear it. I have one. Let's okay. Jay Z. Uh Acha. Lil Wayne. Yeah, this is giving like Amr and Sade nothing going to. Yeah, right. Lil Wayne. Yeah. Eminem. Yeah. Last one. What do you think his last one is, yo? Last one. Drake? Yeah. No. Oh, solid. It's low. It, no, no. You just smacked me, bro. Yeah. I have to give it. I have to give it to this person. Mm. Personal mm. preference, mm. but I think this person's a, one of the goats. Who? It has to be Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty tall idea. It has to be Snoop Dogg. You're a Snoop Dogg like uh, he didn't get into England or something, and the Queen like let him yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You that's know why I gave? Wild, you know yeah. why I gave to Snoop Dogg? I would have given it to Tupac. Mm. Or 
um i would give it to tupac or or, or, or um kendrick right yeah. but then i thought about it because more I go, as i got older i thought about it. dude snoop has such an influence just yeah. generally yeah. on a lot of hip-hop in that time right like when tupac's time or whatever and i was just like thinking about it, I was like, dude this guy no one really talks about it because they're just like yo this guy just chills it mm. he smokes all he does nothing right i like kid cootie yo kid cuddy you mean not yeah. kid cootie kid cootie uh, okay, Kid Cudi, yo. yeah, Kid Cudi's really good too. Like Travis's like entire inspiration came from Kid Cudi. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Rocky guys, that guy was kill. I used to listen to him in grade eight. All I still time, listen. Yeah. I still listen to Kid Cudi. Yeah, yeah, like the OG. What's that? Pursuit of Happiness. That's yeah. everybody's at clubs and shit. Yeah, but then there's other Man songs on the Moon. Went, yeah, Man on the Moon's like ten of those. Right? Yeah, there's no three of them. Home. There's three of them. I think there's three. And yeah. those things go ham too. But at the end, he became a mental case, which is sick, yo. I love a story of like artists like getting into their crowd and then loving it so much they go mental, yo. <laughs> Our times on Nishi and shit is different, right? But I mean, like, yeah, yo, that's kind of sick, yo. But what do you think of my list, though, guys? What do you think of my list? I say Lil Wayne. I say uh, Snoop Dogg. I think, yeah, I guess so. I say um, Eminem. Depends on if you're talking about, like, right now. No, I'm saying all time. Of all time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. If it's all time, sorry, I gotta take that back. I'm sorry, I gotta take that back. I'm taking it back. If it's, I fucking tripped out. If we're taking all, because I just read, read the questions. American artists, right? Just in general. So that's not rap artists. That's just in general. So yeah. if it's not an artist, it has to be Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Like it has to be Michael Jackson. <laughs> It has to be Michael Great Jackson. No, no. It has to be Michael Jackson. It has to be Lil Wayne. Yeah. Bro, you have to put fucking... You still have to put uh, Jay-Z up there. You just have to. I think, guys, for my top, my tier list of all time, for go tier list of American artists, is going to be Michael Jackson, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z. That's kills, bro. It has to be that. Respect, bro. Respect it has to be that. Let me know what you all think in the comments. I'm going to name drop you a city, mm. and you told me the first thing that comes to your mind. I hit me. First thing that comes Aye, to mind. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Aye? Aye. Okay, let's go with Toronto. Dirt. Okay, let's go New York. <laughs> Ghetto. Let's go Boston. Celtics. Let's go with Calgary. <laughs> Flames. Let's go uh, Houston. I can't, I can't say it. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was going to say it. What do you think? A Chick fil A? I think a Chick fil A. I, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking, uh, yeah, probably like Chick fil A. Chill, man. You think some other shit? <laughs> <laughs> drop it. I ain't dropping it. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was going to say strippers. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Because like, James Harden. Yeah, because James Harden. Yo, <laughs> that's fine. <fun, so laughs> I think a James Harden too, yo. Yeah, because James Harden, yo. No, oh, yo, yo good, 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 good. Last one, Cancun. Cancun. Oh, fuck. Cartels. Siri. Uh, yo. <laughs> Melvin Medici, yo. <laughs> Melvin Medici, yo. yo. Winnipeg. Uh, Jets being ass. After coming back after so long, yo. Everybody was so hyped. Canada was hyped and they ass. Miami. Uh, Miami, I think of plastic surgery and fuck fake bitches. London. <laughs> London, I think of wearing like a nice watch on your wrist and somebody just slicing your wrist off. Like, I just have a graphic in my head of just a cut off wrist. <laughs> Happens and shit. Dubai. Dubai, I think of, I remember that story of the shakes that take shits, bro. <laughs> Can't it? There's no disrespect or anything, but <laughs> I saw the Twitter thread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, god, yeah. Damn. Vancouver. Huh? Vancouver? I think of like a hella dead downtown. Yeah, I started going there every day for work, and I was just like fucking not feeling it. It was so dead. Mm. Like it depends on what you do. But also, I'll probably pack a pokemon at the hand. Yeah. Now I'm probably Vancouver Art Gallery, John. Iceland. Huh? Iceland. I think of like. um I don't know. I used to watch Bear Grylls as a kid, yeah. Oh, nice. Bear yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, like, a lot of shit there. Like, camping yeah, and stuff. They did, they did, they did, they did, they did. Like, you don't even know. Russia. Russia? I think of uh, Vladimir Putin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney. Huh? Sydney. Uh, fucking Sydney? Yeah, Australia. Oprah so, Oprah House, yeah. Where Oprah used to sing and shit. Oprah House. Nice. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Brooklyn. Brooklyn? I think of the ghetto, yeah. Street. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was taking the subway like last year, not this year, yeah. and I like took the wrong one. I ended up in Brooklyn, mm. and this guy got on with like three dogs. Right, mm. he was sitting right next to me, yo, and I was shot my life, yo, yo. <laughs> I was that. trying to go to the airport. I ended up in the hood, right, <laughs> and like I ended up in Richmond Hill. Mm. And then this guy got on the train, and he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna fucking kill someone," and he started like punching the door and shit, right. Bro, I dead ass hopped out of the train, called it Uber. Why did you call that? <laughs> oh, why did you? Alright, Atlanta. Last one, Atlanta. Huh? Atlanta. Yeah. Fuck, oh, bro. I just think Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the headquarters are. I used to work there. <laughs> I used to always remember getting my pay stub in like fucking grade twelve. Me like, no, no, in like first year uni, being like fucking Atlanta. Yo, what price I could do? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I yo, man, of yo. Yeah. 
Here's one thing that I think a lot of people would resonate with, especially if you're brown. The mm. desi uncles with the Bluetooth headsets, yo. The yo. They're goaded, bro. Yo, we gotta talk about this, man. That's the reason the economy runs, bro. It's because of the desis with the Bluetooth. Shout out to my desis with the Bluetooth. Yo, and it's ears. a specific one. It's the one with the headset, yeah, the one yeah, around yeah. the pocket. The, 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 like ones in the, the ones in the trucking. Yeah. The ones in trades. The ones yeah. in dispatch. The ones in taxi industry. The ones in every industry wearing the Bluetooth, bro. They bro, hold it down, yeah. I don't even know how the Bluetooth has that much battery capacity to stay on. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'd be thinking of too, right? Yeah. Like, how the Bluetooth? My AirPods die after like two hours in the gym, bro. Yeah. Like, key system, my bro. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I kind of every charging system. Hello. <laughs> every, yo, and the audio is so crisp, dude, yo. You're in a conversation with a Bluetooth uncle. He's just like, hello. And you're like, oh, what's up? And then no, next thing you know, he's on the phone to fucking preach his dad. <laughs> oh, oh, embarrassing story. I was actually talking to his uncle uh, at the Gordara, right? yeah. he had Bluetooth headset on and I was like uh, he was just kind of like in between a door right and I was like I just was like uncle ji ji I was going to just be like uncle ji I just want to go through right yeah, yeah. and uh, uncle ji uh, turns out he just started talking he's like get that what the like all right whatever and then he tick tock he kind of looks around at me all confused he's like and he points at his headset no <laughs> he's talking to his like son yeah, but he got rejected yo. Like, that, happened, that happened to me a few times too like so confidently like, he's like he's like and they have the same signal yo they rock it like this they like turn to you and they're like yeah, but they're so nonchalant, yo. They're just like, like they're just and, then, and then it's like yeah. there's a variant of that that's in depression. Yeah, and it's the warehouse headset, uncle, yo. Facts. The warehouse headset. You know what I mean? It's yeah. the one with like the four buttons on it. It's like yeah, yeah. randomly lighting up like green and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know that. You know that, that guy's fucking break his it. time, bro. Yeah, yeah. A second. You know that guy doesn't got time to fuck around because he's like, if he's one minute over his break, his efficiency is going down to ninety five percent. He's getting fired. Facts. <laughs> like, that he, that somebody robot, else is bro. gonna get hurt. Somebody's huh? gonna yeah, get straight yeah, prepared, bro. Yeah, like yeah. cross the face. Oh, no, but here's the thing: those like uncles upgraded, so now they have like the small Bluetooth ones. Oh no! Like way. the ones that go under one ear, like the yeah, Bluetooth yeah. little, like uh, they look yeah. like a little, like a uh, little, like a uh, stick, right? Mm -hmm. Those ones. Those uncles are pretty cool. I'd say those are like more technology uncles. And the uncle, the final boss, is the AirPod uncle. Yeah, yeah, The yeah, yeah. AirPod under the, the, the pod uncle. The ones that are doing the truck test with the AirPod underneath. Like, <laughs> yeah, no yeah. shit to give The uncles deal. that have the AirPods underneath the pug all day, fucking 12 hour shift, yo. Yeah, I don't yeah, even know yeah, how the yeah, fuck yeah. they do. And again, how the fuck is your battery on for that long, yo? I don't yo? know how the fuck they do that shit either, bro. Like, a little honestly, got there. it's like, but I, I legit know people that like, drive truck mm -hmm. and they'll be on call with their buddies for eight hours, bro. For the whole show. We gotta talk about this too. Yeah, bro. we gotta talk about this too. A lot of people that drive truck, like, they have buddies and shit. Shit, right? yeah, and like I'll be like yo how do you pass the time and they're like yo we're on call like all day yeah, yeah. like from the start the shift they're on the phone and then the end day and they cut the phone like they're legit on it for like 8 hours yeah yeah, yeah. like we're just with each other chopping it up my dad literally that's actually like grown high school bro. yeah legit my dad literally will call people right like um all the time, all the time, like not all the time. Like he'll call people, like his like contact, like job, my job, job. Like finds around the guy of the day, right? Yeah, yeah whatever. He's the guy of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And out no, of no. The day. yeah, yeah. My my uh, my chacha. Sorry, I said my dad, my bad. I said my chacha. My chacha will literally call people. Like throughout the throughout his like trucking shift, he'll be like, oh, I just met today, but I'm not going to get here. you know, do job. Like he'll just yeah. like be ripping and then like, oh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm Oh shit, my first job was at EV Logistics. Mm -hmm. So, got a little company. Yo, you know. worked at EV Logistics? Yeah, yeah, like, Yo, those guys. Oh my god. I, I feel like I had a second job, bro. But I've never seen like so many bande that were literally chat GPT before chat GPT was a thing. Yo, like these guys, mm -hmm. they literally they'd put on that headset and they would become robots. Yo, like dead ass. Like they'd talk to the machine in the ear. It'd be like, pick five. You have to say five. Say five. Pick ten. Ten. Pick twenty. Or you fucking bang their head on the warehouse. Yo, bro, blood everywhere. They're like, ten. Five. I was fully like, yo, if this is my life, yo, if I literally just end up like a robot, like I don't want to live, bro. Like yeah, that should no, take no. something out of you, bro. I, think I, I still remember getting brought upstairs for having like seventy-seven percent efficiency, and just fucking being like, holy shit, yo. That's why I started a business, bro. <laughs> it goes way back, yo. Y'all don't even know, bro. It's traumatic. And, right? and then and then the lunchroom talk was dirty, though. Yeah, bro. they'd be like talking about that story. I was in like grade ten. I learned that like there was such a thing as like paying for chicks like Snapchats and shit, like privates, and there's all these people and they're just fucking going ham and they're like scope this, scope that. And I like legit, yo. Was like, I got fired fuck? from that job, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah I legit got fired from that. I job. think you needed to. Huh? You should have gotten fired. Why? Because, bro, that's not a place. It's for a Canada event, right? Yeah, yeah Canada. It's not the place for me, yo. Nah, I feel like there's only a couple people in the world that can get away with doing no work. I'm not, and then like, and we can get away with it too. We like, can get away with it too. There's a lot of brown kids that don't do anything. There are, but I feel yeah. like eventually, like, 
when you're so there is actually a lot of brown kids that just smoke weed and watch you. There are, but I feel like once your parents unfortunately ev- inevitably will either not work anymore or pass away, what are you gonna do then? No, bro. Like the people are fucked, yo. Like some people's parents are like well off and shit. Mm-hmm. They'll just like take the inheritance and like just fuck around. Maybe they'll have like side jobs and shit. They won't really do much. You know, there's people out there like that. I know, bro. I know the yeah, people like that, yeah, but yeah. it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like life's but just I think not it, fun it, without. It's better, it's better when you have work. I feel like life's just not fun. Like if you know, me and Manrov, bro, we were talking about the last part of the Staples thing, right? We were just <laughs> big dookie as fuck. Yeah, me and Manrov, like Cineplex. Yeah, bro. Me and Manrov actually, like, after we recorded that pod, went to the office, like, uh, like that same night, and we were just fully chill. Like we mm. were like afterwards, we were actually like happy. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, and you know what it was? We were sitting there up to two in the morning, just like we're doing actually doing proper proper work. work yeah. It was like a waste of time. Yeah, and then we were just Dude, like, that, that chick told me she's like, "Do you want to donate like two dollars?" Oh, security yo, no, 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 First, so she's like, Hey, do you want to? I knew that she was a piss off, yeah. yo. Because last like, time I said yes, I'm gonna cut on your tail, bro. They literally got my fucking shout out, bro. They're gonna ask for everything, like my fucking data, bro. This, that, everything. I was like, Yo, next time I don't have business, so why are you talking about this? Yeah, Manor of the first time, Manor for a business account. The Manor was like, No, I don't have one, right? Yeah. Like, Manor's already kind of because we were already like on a phone with a couple people, had to get somewhere. Manor was like, Fuck, get me out of here, right? Then this chick's like, Yo, she cash ripped you. the longest sentence, yeah. bro. It wasn't just like, Do you want to donate? No, no, no. Cashier was like, Hey, do you want to donate this to she save? She showed me a flyer, and flyer, and everything. Do you want to donate to save this, that, and the third? Matter was like, Nah. She's like, Yo, Matter like, the program goes to like these children in these affected areas. Like, it's only two dollars. Like, do you want to donate? And I was looking at it deep, and I just remembered this like TikTok I saw that shows like all these stores, like the McDonald's mm-hmm. round up, the Walmart round up, donate. Of all of those, bro, the like one cent actually goes to those causes, bro. Yeah. Like, if you want to actually donate, just get this one. Like, drop like a hundred dollars to Casa Aid when you get paid like a grand and call it a day, yo. But all that little little money at these stores like none of it actually makes it to the cause bro like yeah. i don't believe that I was yeah. like, fuck this, bro. I was like, yo, are you going to go give it to the kid? No, you're not, man. <laughs> no, you're not. You can't even tell me that this is going to Manor of legit, the lady asked Manor and Manor said, nah. And then I just paid dying. and I started laughing so hard. And this chick literally was like, I was fully like, this, this cashier, I felt so bad, right? God bless her soul. I started she, laughing. She started, she, he starts laughing. Cashier's like, oh my God, or whatever. She's so really depressed. She's really depressed. So when I went down to pick up, pay my thing, she didn't even ask me business account, nothing. She just scanned She's it. Like, it was no, like, pay. Don't get and then fucking like, just we're woke, it. bro. Like, people like, and just fucking if you do round up at Walmart why don't you do some research on how much money actually goes to the fucking things you want to support and they just find like a small sized charity or like medium sized charity that actually reports its financials publicly and donate there I was getting ripped off by Walmart and shit yo I'm gonna be real every company at Danny Bond yeah bro after starting your own company you realize how much expense goes into it huh after starting your own company it's actually just like a waste bro why would I why would I even do two dollars there I'm just gonna go to like some guy's fucking Maserati who's an executive. When I can just do two out two dollars tuni at the Gordara Matateko. But I'll, honestly, I think on that note, bro, it's been a beautiful podcast. <laughs> like it was ended off right here. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace.